Hi guys. So, um, I kind of took a quick nap and one of the cats came in and I was holding him and then I passed out. When I woke up, he was like still curled up in my arms. It was so cute. They're the cuddliest kitties ever. Yes, you are. And of course I looked at him, so now he has to come over here. But, um, I am heading out to a coffee shop so I can get some work done. Um, Bruno told me about one. Sorry. Bruno told me about one that is pretty close by, so I'm going to go check it out. And I think it has more space than the one I went to last time. So, I'm excited. I like coffee shops. So, I had to make the comment. I'm not going to go in and make a big deal about it. But I had to say something. Do you see how close this car is next to me? I had to climb in through my passenger side. The spaces here aren't that small. Park like a normal person and not make people climb over. If I had like any kind of issues or like I was really hurting, I wouldn't climb through and I'd just go in and ask who had the car. But I guess it's better this one time when I had a guy park so that he didn't even try and get into the space. He literally parked like this is my car and he parked like this right behind my car. Like, where the front end of his car was in the space and that was it. I'm like, how did you not get towed for this? What, what is happening? Uh, anyway, anyway, that's, that's it. I actually really enjoyed this little coffee shop. I thought it was real cute. There's tons of space. There's not a lot of like plugs. So next time I will fight for prime real estate, but I'm finding that at least going once a week to a little coffee shop to sit down and either edit photos or work on like social media stuff is really helping how I feel. Like I feel more productive, I'm happier when I come out instead of like holding myself up all day. So I think I'm gonna make it a point to come once a week to a coffee shop just to kind of like get stuff done. Next time I'll bring a fully charged laptop, I will fight for a nice space. And let me put you guys up here because I realized all the shakiness is because of my hands. I need to start carrying around my, um, oh, sorry guys. Oh, I need to start carrying around my tripod thingy again. I really, because I've been keeping up with it, even though it's been kind of like wonky and some videos are only like one clip for the day, I have been doing this for over a month. I'm so proud of myself. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Now I'm getting loud. I'm sorry, guys. I think the caffeine's kicking in. What was I was saying, oh yeah, coming out once a week just to kind of get stuff done and work is helping and I think I'm gonna start doing it every week. I'm just gonna put aside like 10 bucks so I can come to a coffee shop and relax a little bit. And once my business takes off, maybe this will be like how I work on like computery stuff, maybe not editing and everything like that because I kind of like to be at home, cornered away, um, unbothered, nobody around to work on that stuff, but like all the social media stuff, all of the photo editing, um, reading, all of that kind of stuff I could totally do here. So uh, I'm going to make it a long-term goal that in the next couple of months I'd like to be able to afford to come um, regularly to a coffee shop and get work done. Are any of you guys working on goals this year? Because I know it's still January and it's getting towards the end of the month and so this is the point where we're all kind of like getting tired or giving up and I've been in that rut this entire week where I'm gonna switch, ah! I'm gonna throw my glasses and put on my prescription sunglasses Man. Um, but basically I've been at that point in the new year where you've set a bunch of goals for yourself and then you're having a hard time following through on them so I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going it's my first time here and I know that it's like 
all in the rough area where I'm supposed, like where I am. I know kind of the area. I just need to figure out how to get back. Anyway, unimportant. I'm deviating, I'm sorry. But basically, um, this is the point in the beginning of the year, it's the end of January where people are like, I can't do it. And I have been in that funk like for a week and a half. Just like not caring, I'm not keeping up with anything. Like, I didn't even set up my bullet journal for the week and I've been really good about it. Like, I've had to push myself to get out, to actually go to coffee shop, to work. Although when I get there, I feel amazing, which is why I wanna stick with it. But I'm here to tell you that I am not successful yet. I haven't, um, I haven't achieved any of my major goals or even my smaller goals yet, except for continuing to vlog every day. I have done that one. But I'm not getting anywhere yet. You know, I know it's gonna take time. I'm not a very patient person, so this is kind of hard for me. But don't give up, because if you give up, then you're never gonna achieve those dreams, you know? And if you're struggling, know that I am struggling too. It's an everyday step-by-step -step thing of me telling myself, hey, I know that I'm not seeing the results yet. I know that things aren't happening as quickly as I'd like them to, but I'm gonna keep doing it anyway because I enjoy it and because I want to see myself succeed and because I set these goals for a reason. I want to continue doing my art. I want to be my own boss. I want to do all of these things and the only way to make it happen is if I keep working on them. So even if you stumble a little bit, don't give up. Honestly, don't give up because I am struggling right there beside you every day.